And nobody have karma. If you if you choose to 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 live right and choose to have your ways set, your intentions set on betterment, then that's what you will receive back. It's a recalibration, okay? A recalibration of the systems, the governmental systems, the political systems, these medical systems, your belief system, period, in general. And that's for everybody. That's why things being uncovered, information is being given and received. Because you see, it was one point the dark energy wouldn't allow certain information that this planet needed it wouldn't allow it to come through because of the dark energy on this planet but all less changed so now we not only getting the information we plugged and in tune to in a standing that we getting it in a standing that is guide us from beyond you know at at one time it was a hope and a prayer you could say you know, and now we understand and call them things that's not as though they are on a larger scale. I am that I am, you know, and that you connected to each and everything. See, that karma used to have to just put it like this. An individual would be so stubborn, karma had to force them to see things the way they needed to see it for their betterment you know karma used to have to force individuals to make that change force them into it you know either that or is either get tired of going through certain things or you know just come accustomed to it but that's that was the process of it you know it was it it, it literally pushed you into looking at things different you know because it was it was that one mindset that everybody just had. You know, it's just a lot of dark energy that we was amongst. And I ain't speaking for each and every, you know, but I'm speaking for the collective, for sure. You used to think things couldn't change. Your intuition that you plugged into right now, what, what you think it's doing, is allowing you to literally, what? Catch yourself in a moment. Don't go down that same, that same path. You see a better way now. Boom, you can change it. Instantly, you can change it. It's not like nothing new under the sun. And you have to understand it. Because when individuals used to run into a problem, it was a, a certain solution that individuals would have. You know, like on a basic scale for a lot of things. A lot of things, man. Sit down one, one day by yourself and just think about that. How society went, follow suit with a lot of different things. You know, as far as if this happened, this is, the, if you do this, this is going to happen. A lot of things, you know, and none of that. So is the possibilities is endless. The possibilities of you doing something right now, it's, it, it's endless. It's literally endless. But you have to understand what endless mean. It doesn't mean one way. See, we think of, we walking in these shoes and we, we, we literally have God in us and we think of God on a singular level. You know, we try to put him on our level as far as what, what the creator think, high, high, and, and that's so, that's so far from what we supposed, how we supposed to be thinking. Anything is possible is what you're supposed to think about when you think of God, source, creator, spirit, anything is possible. Endless possibilities is experiences we having is experiences we having. What kind of experience that do you want? Which ways, what the, what ways in which you navigating to go down whatever experiences that you experiencing you in your moment, when you make these decisions, you thinking about your well being when you're making these decisions. You thinking about individuals coming behind you when you're making these decisions? It's a process to everything.
but you don't have to live under karma. Karma was, it was a system set up in a certain way in certain, you know, families. You would reincarnate back in the same family. You'd reincarnate back into the same family, you know, different gender maybe, different role in the family, you know, but it was literally in the same family. That's why if you trace, if you trace this history back, people were way more, the families was way more grouped up together than they are now. You know, it's getting back that way, but way more back then. They stuck together way more than individuals stick together now. That's because of the souls reincarnating, you know, and building up a tradition, a, a, a belief system, you know, a traditional belief system. But we've advanced past those times, you know, those times was set up for us to experience karma and have a diversity about ourselves, different experiences and different ways of looking at things, you know, and everybody went through the medical, political, government, all those little phases within it, you know, racial, all that, each one, each individual, each, each, each group, you could say, you know, but now it is you can be black and literally reincarnate back into a white family. You can be white and literally reincarnate back into a black family. Literally. Way across the 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 way across the the country somewhere. Whole nother spot, whole nother place. Whole nother purpose. All of that is experiences that our souls are having. But that's how much we've advanced. You know, we don't have to shoot basketball just on this court. We can go to all the courts and shoot basketball, learn how to shoot basketball on all of the courts. But when we, when we, when everything is said and done, every court gonna really know how to shoot basketball the right way. You know, that's, that's where we at, you know, and a lot of people gonna beg to differ. A lot of people gonna say, you know, talk about carbonated beans and, and, and melanated beans and profit, get all of that. Profit, get all of that. But your soul ain't melanated. Your soul ain't carbonated. You know, like it's, 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 it's oneness. If you can understand oneness, then you can understand what profit just explained. You know, like you can't, you can't go against, you can't go against the oneness. That's what everybody's supposed to be getting to, no matter what your story is, what you're going through, what your agenda is. Oneness, love for each and every individual, compassion for each and every individual, wanting betterment for each and every individual, despite, and you put the period on the end of that. Protect your energy, protect yourself to and from, watch your surroundings, watch what you're taking years, watch what you give out your mouth, man. Help somebody if you can. Give somebody some words of encouragement if you can. Prophet have words of encouragement. Start opening up your mind to see black is white and white is black. Yellow is brown, brown is yellow. Try to open your mind to understanding of things. Stop basing your decisions off of all of these categories that you have embedded within you because it's a lot of categories that you don't realize that you go by when you're making decisions when you're looking at things how you're viewing it it's categories that you have remember these labels just remember these labels you know if I show you a, a sign of a, a, a like a foot locker sign what you gonna wanna go do okay what that make you think about if I show you a McDonald's sign what it make you do Pizza Hut, what'd it make you do? Like Burks, what'd it make you do? Like you have to understand these labels that's in your mind, just period. Somebody walk up to you and say, hey, McDonald's, you're not thinking about tennis shoes or nothing like that, but that's what you're supposed to be thinking about. Opportunities, anything is possible. 
not this one track mind that they 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 train society try to train individuals to think down these dead end roads where you can't see possibilities blessings man blessings blessings man protect yourself protect yours till next time man sky prophet baby love everybody man peace out